What's up? What's up, everybody? So y'all seen the title. Y'all know what it is. It's Versace, Versace, Versace. You know how the song go. So yeah, I got two banging Versace fragrances that uh, I want to give a review on today. This is not a first impression and all that good stuff because I smelled these already and I've worn them so I can tell you what kind of projection, what kind of longevity and all that kind of good stuff they got. So yeah, we finna get our Versace on. That's why I got my Versace frames on and you know, stun for y'all. Alright, all right, y'all know these ain't Versace's. I got these from Shein. But anyway, you know, I be rocking them. <laughs> but yo, we ain't gonna postpone this and then we gonna jump right into it. Like I said, I got two fragrances. It's not gonna be a long video but it is gonna be uh, um, informative video. So, what I got for y'all today is an oldie, two oldies but goodies from the house of Versace. And the first one was, uh, we have here is Versace Blue Jeans. This came out in 1994. So, you know, it's considered a, a, a Fougere scent and everything. It's an aromatic um, but before we get into that, I'm going to show you all a little presentation. It comes in this neat can here, cylinder, with the lion on top. You know I'm digging the lion, Leo Nation. You already know. Um, got some old school guy here playing a freaking guitar. And to be honest, this with him in blue jeans is about the only thing about this fragrance that will remind you of blue jeans. But anyway, it comes in a 2.5 ounce 75 milliliter bottle pop the top and this is what it looks like looks like a cold old school drink if you ask me you know what i'm saying the old school bottles or whatever should have been called something like that the blue juice i don't know but um yeah it's a very neat presentation again you have the lion on top for the cap here is very very detailed bottle you know, you got the typical Versace protruding emblems and everything. So, yeah, we're going to get right into it. The fragrance, uh, I think it took me, the itemizer is pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? It took me a couple of sprays to get this out. Um, <sighs> right off top, you get a, it's very aromatic. You get a fresh, very fresh feel of spiciness and everything. It's. It's very floral, you know what I'm saying? Like a white floral. Some of the main players in this is juniper, iris, and tobacco. Wait a minute. Strike that. You're going to see the notes. This thing has so many notes in it that I couldn't even sit here and try to tell you. It has a, It's very citrusy in the top. It has bergamot. It does have juniper. Um, and then the mid, it's... Um, Ah, man, y'all see the notes, like I said, I just had a brain fart. But you got the tonka and vanilla and everything in there. But when this starts to settle down, you kind of get a little bit more of that. But throughout the fragrance, it's very floral, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, 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 it's a beautiful scent. Very well put together. When you see all of these notes, then it kind of makes you think, what the hell is this going to smell, smell like? But like I said, it... It projects really good for at least a couple of hours and everything. You know, I wore it to work and, you know, people smelled it. You know, I had a couple of people ask me, it's, you know, what I had on and everything. But um, this thing lasted a good eight hours. You know, I sprayed it that morning about six or something like that, and it lasted throughout the day. So, I mean, this may be an old scent, but like I said, with, with the name Blue Jeans, you would expect it to have some kind of ruggedness about it. You know, a little bit more of a musk or manly scent or something. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a masculine fragrance, but the t I don't know where they got the Blue Jean title from. Like, how does that work? But anyway, this is a great pickup um, from any of your bargain stores like uh i think i got this one i found this at tj maxx yeah cop that up at tj maxx oh again i'm lying i'm lying sorry y'all i'm sorry this was a amazon fragrance haul with the versaces i got these from amazon this was 19 20 dollars something like that for amazon for this bottle so sorry about that 
But you can find these sometimes in like Burlington and places like that. But that's not where I got it. All right, we got it together now. Next on the list is this right here. This is one that in the fragrance community, they rave about. They talk about like this is one you have to have in your collection. If you're going to be a cologne connoisseur, you can't call yourself that unless you put this in your collection. One of the OGs again. This was like early 2000s or something. Versace Dreamer. This was the last one that Versace himself helped formulate before he passed on. This was his final project, even though there has been reformulations. So this is probably not one of the ones from the original and all that kind of stuff. But don't get me wrong. They say it just don't last as long as those did. But we're going to get into that. So, see the presentation. Nice list. The dreamer. So, therefore, you got the little sparklies. The, yeah, you're dreaming. Am I dreaming? Who cares? Anyway, the bottle, again, is very neat. That is the dreamer on that. Um, there is no cap. This sprayer is the top. You know what I'm saying? So, you can pick it up like that all you want. This uh, uh, 100 ml bottle. I actually picked this up, like I said, on Amazon. Uh, $30 for this one. You know what I'm saying? You can find the smaller ones. I've seen the smaller ones in Ross uh, for $24.99. It was a 50ml. But I figured it looked on Amazon and seen the whole 100ml for $5 more, so I went with that. But if you just want to add a little bit to your collection, nobody really needs 100ml if you got other colognes. So, yeah, jump into that. So, we're going to get these notes popping up here. Now, this one right here, the na the main players are Juniper, the Iris, and the Tobacco tobacco Blossom. Now, don't be mistaken thinking it's going to be your tobacco fragrance and you're going to get that because that is not a smoky tobacco. This is that Tobacco Blossom is keeping it with what this is representing. You know what I'm saying? This is also a nice aromatic floral scent, different than Blue Jeans. Um... When you smell this, you get why it's called Dreamer. It is invoking thought. It is invo it's very fresh. It's like almost uh, a bougie dryer sheet scent. You know what I'm saying? It's like you get all the florals. Once again, it's well mixed. Versace fragrances are well done. These are well done. This right here. You're going to smell different than anybody. Everybody ain't wearing Dreamer. You know what I'm saying? If you go out, you could, you know, you put enough sprays on of this. Don't overdo it, but you could rock this to a club and get some attention and all that kind of stuff. But this is, this could be a date. These these two fragrances are all year round fragrances. You know what I'm saying? You could actually rock this one on a date night, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's very. I'm sorry, I'm chewing gum too. That probably irritating somebody, but I just thought about it. But anyway. This is a banger. They were right to say that you need this in your collection because it was. Now, they said that the new formulation may not get as much longevity. I believe that because I think I got, I got a, a good six hours from this. You know, it still was kind of on my skin later on, but very faint. But like I said, it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Can't go wrong with Versace Dreamer. Like the design and everything, it's nice bottle and the scent is lovely. So that's it for this round of fragrances. You know, I hope y'all watch this and enjoy this. Um, I'm telling y'all about these. It's good fragrances to go pick up. Ladies, if you're watching and looking for something for your man or something like that, or men you're looking for a nice fragrance that's not gonna break the bank, that you're still going to stand out and smell like a million bucks even if it don't cost a million bucks y'all check these out man all right peace